what is up good morning guys hope everyone is doing well hope everyone is doing amazing on the sunday morning if this is the first time that you come across my youtube channel um the name is mr facetex on instagram mr underscore facetex and obviously by the title of the video i got you to maybe click on it you maybe think it's clickbait but those that know me for the last few years that's in my trading room and my signals you know i provide top quality trades um setups stop losses tps reasons behind the trade and you know all of the above so uh last week we had a week where nasdaq was trying to play hard to get i was confident in my my long bias and uh you know she played around and then thursday she made this move to the downside over here the scandal over here and then everyone you know stopped believing or well, not everyone a lot of people stopped believing in my bias uh for the upside move and uh sent out the signal <clears throat> that morning three o'clock we banged 2500 pips i mean this thing hit our tp clean 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 and then we had two tp set um so i just want to talk you guys through how easy it is to trade nasdaq um when you just focus on simple things like looking left and using your trend lines like looking left and using your trend lines i can't say that enough i feel like i should let it flash on the screen you know look left use trend lines and um yeah i'm just gonna break it down here quickly this video won't be long we'll keep it under 10 minutes um first things first guys get yourself a shortcut bar like this if you're a student of mine you probably have this already and uh, all you basically use is your your trend line right now to keep it simple i want to show you the reason for always looking left now over here between the 19th of april and 10th of may you know we had the strong support area on the 4th of may we had that support being broken then we had a retest and then we had it fall over what was this like seven thousand pips yeah about seven thousand pips and then we we recovered again to the upside now the trade in particular that we took was somewhere around here so if you look left again you look at if you take it from those weeks like that right it's not perfectly straight but you get what i'm saying um those weeks from the 4th and the 6th of the may were basically the lows right that was the lowest the price went on those days and if you look at the 14th 17th and 18th of may it was respected as resistance so we had support support the support was broken three days of resistance and then on the 20th of may that resistance was broken it then turned support on the 24th of may price then pushed up back into this area of resistance right simple easy so price was trapped in here in the zone consolidating consolidating over and over and over right then price broke out price broke out of a year and uh everyone's like okay cool we're going short friday it's nfp blah 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 now <clears throat> again i want to just emphasize looking left if you look left again and you look at the the open of the price like this you will see that it's basically like a channel uh, that was basically support over there if you look at the two open prices of those two candles and if you look over here again it's all about looking left so price tanked on thursday all i did simply was look left and i could see okay resistance resistance broke resistance thursday it came down for support and also to full price right price needed to be filled over here all the liquidity was sitting way in the middle of the candle so what i did was i take the the open of the candle right and i put it to the eye of the candle or the close and uh that's how i draw my fib it's very unorthodox to draw the fib like that but this is just for how i specifically trade nasdaq and um all my students know my favorite place to tackle a trade is in between the 61 and the 78.6 zones and that is why we had a buy stop at 13.5 to 5 because it was lift off from the on out and then again using the trend line i just looked at this high or this candle here versus this bullish candle breakout so all i did was that right marked off that over there let me take this off see drew it down so basically it was a break retest if i looked left it did support 
in my 61.8 zone. The stop loss was tight. The the two TPs was set. 13.750 was TP2, which we hit to the T. And uh, this is how I trade nice day, guys. I really only go to the four hour, one hour, 30 minute to get a candlestick um, pattern or I look for entry. But I stick on the daily. I'm always on the daily. I'm watching the daily every single day. I look where the daily candle opens, where it closes. And that is why I trade NASDAQ the way I do. That is why I'm probably the only signal provider that can send you a signal with a stop loss on NASDAQ. I don't just thumb suck uh, a open or a close of, of a price. I go in with a technical analysis attack. And uh, this was Friday. And um, I think I'm going to make more videos like this for YouTube where I break it down as simply as this break it down for you guys and show you what happened what i saw why i kept my composure why i stuck with my analysis and why everyone is eating pups in the face takes trading room so yeah guys that is it the video is only six minutes long kept it way under 10 minutes and that is why i'm the world's best nasdaq trader haha <laughs> it's clickbait don't take it to the head don't get upset and uh, guys have a fantastic week I'll see you all soon in the trading room. God bless.